Earlier today, Apple released iOS 11.2 Beta 1. So what's new? Let's have a look. So on this hand, I have the iPhone 8 Plus running iOS 11.2 Beta 1. And over here, I have the iPhone 7 Plus running iOS 11.1 Beta 5. Now, many of the changes that you'll find in iOS 11.2 Beta 1 are very subtle, like this one right here. On the older beta version, you'll notice that the album artwork in Control Center has rounded corners, whereas the new version is a square. Now in the prior iOS beta, when you hovered over one of the trending search results in the App Store, nothing happened. Well, this has changed in the latest beta. Like the music app, when you tap and hold on one of the trending search items, you'll see a new hover effect. Now in the prior versions of iOS, the calculator had a noticeable delay. When you added up one plus two plus three, it just didn't work. And that's frankly kind of embarrassing, but it has been fixed in iOS 11.2 beta one, where once again, one plus two plus three equals six. In the latest beta, you'll also find a new notification panel under the TV settings in the stock preferences. iOS 11.2 beta one doesn't provide new emoji icons, but it does provide an updated rendition of some of those icons. For instance, notice the difference between the old camera icons and the new camera icons. In the latest beta, you'll also notice a new loading animation for the live photo effects. Notice the old one there, and we'll switch over to the new one right here. Notice that updated animation provides more consistency across iOS. When you press the side button twice on the prior beta, you'll notice that your iPhone locks. But on the new beta, when you press the side button twice, it stays awake. Probably something to do with consistency with the iPhone 10. And this latest beta brings the updated wallpaper, which is right here, to older devices like the iPhone 7 Plus. And it really is all about consistency. That's why you'll find an updated camera glyph icon in the Messages app. Okay, so I saved the biggest, most exciting change for last. This is the new AirPlay 2, or at least part of the new AirPlay 2 multi-room control mechanism that you'll find in Control Center and that you can access from the Music app as well. So basically this allows us to control multiple sources in different areas of our house from the same interface. So I can use the iPhone to quickly control music playing on my iPhone, switch back over to the Apple TV and quickly control that music as well and play them both independently. I can play different songs on different devices and easily switch between controlling both. And you can also control playback directly from the music app. So you can see right now I'm controlling the Apple TV and you can see it says Apple TV 2, which is just because I have two Apple TVs uh, and I can control playback there on my Apple TV right now and then I can tap this button and switch over to my iPhone and control playback right on my iPhone from the same interface. And this will work with HomePod as well. So what are your thoughts on the latest beta? Let me know down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.